वेलकम गेट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सेंसर्स एंड इंडस्ट्रियल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन आई एम डॉक्टर बी एन राफ विथ सेवेंटीन प्लस ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन टीचिंग नो लेट्स हैव ए लुक एट सेंसर्स एंड इंडस्ट्रियल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन गेट सिलेबस ओवरव्यू first we'll be dealing with the introduction part then we'll go ahead with resistive capacitive and inductive transducers after that we'll be looking what are piezo electric transducers then measurement of non electrical quantities and miscellaneous topics after that we'll have detailed gate problems their solutions so this is the syllabus for sensors and industrial instrumentation for instrumentation students gate syllabus a sample overview let's look at it once again first we'll deal with the introduction then resistive and capacitive and inductive transducers piezo electric transducers measurement of non electrical quantities and other miscellaneous topics then a detailed gate problems Uh, let's look at the chapter 1 introduction as we have uh, discussed in the last slide chapter 1 introduction so the index here is uh, the first definition of instrumentation basic block diagram of instrumentation will be looking at then the transducer and its classification then a detailed studying of all these concepts will be doing in this particular course now let's look at some basic definitions of sensors and industrial instrumentation the first one comes out to be instrumentation what is instrumentation it's a branch of science and engineering which deals with the systematic organization and analysis of measurement systems so it's a instrumentation it's a branch of science and engineering which deals with the systematic organization and analysis of measuring instruments that means it is nothing but the study of measuring systems in a systematic organization and analysis then the next definition would be instrument what is an instrument any device it is defined as a device or a system that is used to measure any quantity so generally what is an instrument it's a device or a system that is used to measure any quantity anything that is used to measure a quantity is called as an instrument now the quantity that is being measured so anything that you measure is called as a measurement so the quantity to be measured or being measured is called as a measurement so in this slide what we have looked at we have looked at some basic definitions like instrumentation instrument and measurement let's look at these one by one once again so what is a measure instrumentation it's a branch of science and engineering that deals with the systematic organization and analysis of measurement systems now what is an instrument a device is that is used to measure any quantity is called as a instrument then what is the measure quantity being measured is called as it is called as measurement the quantity to be measured is called as the measurement now let's look at the block diagram so what is a block diagram of instrumentation system any instrumentation system the generalized basic block diagram so the quantity that is to be measured is called as measure and as i told you that is given as input to a primary sensing element and in turn the output of this primary sensing element is given to variable conversion element and the variable conversion element gives its output to variable manipulation element and the output of this manipulation element is given to data transmission element and then it is fed to data presentation or controlling so this is the basic block diagram of a 
instrumentation system. So let's see once again. So anything that is to be measured is given to the primary sensing element. From primary sensing element, we'll give, we'll connect its output to variable conversion element. From there, it is given to for manipulation. Then the data is given to data transmission element. And then it is again either controlled or data presentation is done. So this is the general log diagram that you have to remember. It's very important. So this is measure and this is primary sensing element. This is variable conversion element. This is variable manipulation element. This is DTA data transmission element. This is DP or DC data presentation or data controlling. So PSE is primary sensing element. VCE variable conversion element. VME variable manipulation element. DTE data transmission element. DP data presentation or data controlling. So this is the sequence. PSE to VCE. Then it's given to VME. Then it's given to VTTE. Then it's given to D. So coming to the uh, points that have to be remembered from the block diagram, as we have seen, an electronic instrumentation system, any electronic instrumentation system consists of number of components to perform measurement and record its results. So what does it consist of? It consists of number of components. And what do they do? They perform measurement and also record the results. What do they record? They record results. They measure and record results. And this basic instrumentation system consists of a number of components, as we have seen in the previous slide. So instrumentation system may be divided into three major categories. This is a classification. Instrumentation system, any system. It has an input device, a processing device, or a signal conditioning device, and an output device. These are the three major parts of a components of a instrumentation system. Input device, a signal conditioning or processing device, and an output device. So which is very important, you need to know this. Next, coming to uh, what is the definition of a transducer? What is a transducer? A transducer converts one form of energy into other form. The other name for this is pickup. A transducer is also called as a pickup. What does a transducer do? It converts one form of energy into other form. This is the basic working of a transducer, purpose of a transducer. And then what is it also called as? It's also called as pickup. And there are two major parts of a transducer that we have already seen in the block diagram. They are, one is primary sensing element, we have seen this, and variable conversion element, VCE, is also called transduction element. It is also called as transduction element. VCE is also called as transduction element. What is VCE? variable conversion element and together these two PSE primary sensing element and variable conversion element are called together called as a transducer or they constitute a transducer a transducer has two parts once again a transducer has two parts one is primary sensing element the other one is variable conversion element or it's also called as transduction element and combinedly these two are called as a transducer. All right, let's see the classification of transducers. Based on the principle of transduction, the transducers are classified into primary transducers, secondary transducers, passive transducers, active transducers analog transducers, digital transducers, transducers and inverse transducers. So 
so this is a basic classification so what is this based on it is based on the transduction principle how many types are there one is primary transducer and secondary transducer also passive transducer active transducer next analog transducer digital transducer then transducers and inverse transducers so this is the classification of transducers thank you